I don't know about you guys, but I watched the Alien movies when I was way too young. So anytime I had any sort of stomach pain or even indigestion, I was like, all right, here we go. This is when the fucking thing <laughs> bursts out of my chest. Anyone else? Anyone? Just me? Okay. What's going on everybody? Tom Chattelbash here. And if there's anything that I've learned in the 15 years plus that I've been reviewing movies is that A, Movies are always going to vary in quality, and B, my last name is always going to be a marketing nightmare. So just do yourself a favor, just subscribe to the channel so that you never have to remember how to spell my last name. And as an added bonus, you get fun movie content every single week, movie reviews, trailer reactions, and so much more. All you lose is tons of your time. Wait. All right, people, let's get down to the nitty gritty. Let's talk about the thing that you clicked on this video for, Alien Romulus, the new Alien film directed by Fede Alvarez, which is the latest installment in the long-running beloved Alien franchise. And in Alien Romulus, we have this group of scavengers, essentially, who board this abandoned ship in hopes of trying to find some fuel in order to get to another planet in another system so they can completely evade this horrible life that they have currently. And of course, once they get onto this vessel, they realize they, you know, got more than they bargained for. And then you got your alien film because there's face huggers and xenomorphs and plenty of gross, grotesque stuff for them to encounter. Now the Alien franchise, like most people out there, I love those first two films. Alien and Aliens are just fantastic horror, thriller, action films. The later entries, you know, including Prometheus and Alien Covenant more recently, they vary in quality. I kind of have a love-hate relationship with some of those films, but I was still very excited to see this movie because I love Fede Alvarez as a director, and I felt like if anyone could bring this franchise back to its space horror roots and deliver us a great Alien film, it is this guy. Now, is Alien Romulus a solid entry into this beloved sci-fi franchise? Absolutely. I think there's a lot to enjoy here, tons of entertainment value. Uh, and a lot of people out there are saying, oh, this is the best Alien film since, you know, Aliens. That's not really the grand statement you think it is, so maybe pump the brakes. <laughs> Now, director Fede Alvarez and all the practical effects, set design, production design, those are the stars of this film. Those are the things that are absolutely worth seeing this on the biggest screen possible and on the best sound system possible because the sound design is also stellar. Fede Alvarez is no stranger to horror films. I mean, he's made Don't Breathe and the remake of Evil Dead, both of which are super solid and extremely well made and passionately and lovingly made. And he also knows how to make horror films that have a good sense of humor, but also deliver you those chills and thrills that you want out of those films. Films. And what I think he does brilliantly in Alien Romulus is that he does a hybrid of Alien and Aliens that I feel like I have been personally yearning for ever since Aliens came out, where it is a combination of the claustrophobic space horror of that first film and the blockbuster action spectacle of that second film. It's a great hybrid of the two, and that's why I found myself being very entertained by this movie. It was so nice to actually feel frightened in an Alien film again, because even though I actually enjoyed Prometheus and Alien Covenant, I never really felt scared watching those films, and I missed that claustrophobic horror of that first film that Scott himself directed, and so feeling like the franchise went back to its roots here made me so happy because I loved feeling that dread. Again, that sense of atmosphere, moody, terrifying atmosphere, and Alvarez cranks that up to 11 and he does not let up, and I loved that about his direction. And all of the action sequences in the film are really fun, really entertaining. The uses of the xenomorphs and face huggers and just the great use of the practical sets here. I mean, there's a great blend of CG and practical effects here. I mean, just everything having to do with the xenomorphs and the face huggers, the way they move, how tactile they feel. It all adds to the horror and just all the gnarly stuff in this film. And it just, it adds to that level of immersion that you want in an alien film. And in terms of scares, I'm sure you're wondering, are there some good jump scares in this movie? There are a couple that definitely made me flinch a little bit, but this is not exactly a straight-up horror film. It's more of just like a <laughs> wonderfully gross sci-fi thriller with some horror elements for sure and definitely a horror-like atmosphere. That's the best way I can put it. And we haven't touched on the performances here. Most of them are a little bit forgettable, but I do think the two central performances from David Johnson and Kaylee Spiney really solid in this movie. I think Spiney, who also was in Civil War earlier this year, she's absolutely an actress to watch. She's fantastic. I think she emotionally grounds this film, and I think her relationship with Johnson's character, they play brother and sister in the film, I think that's really the emotional anchor of this movie, and I'm glad that a lot of attention is paid to it, and I love their dynamic. I thought it was really interesting, and I felt like it really kept me emotionally engaged when there were so many other characters I could not give two shits about and just wanted <laughs> xenomorphs and face huggers to kind of have their way with them for our entertainment. And that's really the main issue I've had with a lot of these alien sequels, is that we're given all these new characters that, frankly, we just don't give a shit about and just aren't very interesting or compelling. And so, yeah, those movies are entertaining, but emotionally, very hollow. Now, is this movie 
perfect? No, it definitely isn't perfect. I do feel like it takes a little bit too long to give us the setup because we know what's going to happen. We know what is going to be unleashed. And I feel like it takes a little bit too long to set everything up and then let the chips fall. Also, this is a weird thing to say. I was actually expecting this movie to be a little gorier and a little bit more visceral considering Fede Alvarez was at the helm. It actually seems pretty tame for him. And I was kind of hoping he would be really let off the leash here and deliver some really gnarly scenes. Not to say there aren't some gnarly scenes in the movie, but I don't know. I guess maybe after watching his remake of Evil Dead, I maybe went in with too high of expectations for the gore department. I don't know. Or maybe I'm just a fucked up individual. Shit, I gotta talk to my therapist. But still, I feel like I wish that he went a little bit further. And speaking of going a little bit further, the huge third act of this film is definitely going to be divisive because it's a huge swing by Alvarez, which I admire. And I think mostly worked for me, but the part of it that I feel like it didn't work for me is that I felt like it didn't go far enough frankly. I think the setup of it was super gross, super fun, inventive, something I hadn't seen in the franchise before, at least not in this capacity. But I feel like they didn't do enough with it to make it worthwhile. And ultimately, it kind of felt a little tacked on in terms of the story where I felt like everything was kind of resolved and the movie should have ended. And then we had this, you know, 10 to 15 minute sequence that just kind of felt like this horror epilogue that I just feel like we ultimately just didn't really need because they didn't really take it far enough, but that's just me. I'm curious to see what other people think about that. But all in all though, I think Alien Romulus does really work as an Alien film. I think it takes the franchise back to its roots. I think it cherry picks from those first two films and chooses the best elements of those movies and kind of combines them here for a really fun, delicious cocktail. That's a weird way to put that, Jesus. But Alvarez and company, they really deliver a fun, visceral time here. And I think fans of the franchise are gonna find a lot to enjoy here. And there's still life left in this franchise, most importantly, that's what this movie shows. I would love to see more Alien movies. I'd love to see Alvarez come back. I certainly don't think this is the best Alien movie, but it's a really entertaining one, that is for sure. So in the end, I'm going to give Alien Romulus, I'm going to give this movie three and a half out of five stars. I do have my minor issues with it, but all in all, at the end of the day, it's super entertaining. It gives me that claustrophobic horror and action spectacle that I want out of an Alien film. I love the practical effects. I loved the action sequences and just the sense of dread and the moody, amazing atmosphere. The score also rocks in this movie, and it's just an, a high immersive, claustrophobic, great time at the movies. And like I said, if you like the Alien movies, you're gonna like this movie. So that's my review of Alien Romulus, but let me know what you think about it in the comment section below if you have seen it. Let me know if you loved it, hated it, think it's just okay. Also, let me know what your favorite Alien movie is. Definitely curious. I know some people are very divided against the first film and the second film. Even some people throw out Resurrection, you know, because their grip on sanity is slipping. <laughs> But let me know in the comment section below. And until next time, everybody, I'm Tom Chattelbash, YouTube's most reliable movie critic.